Hey everyone, I'm taking a quick break from gardening with the family today and really just wanted to thank everybody for getting me to this uh, first milestone of a thousand subscribers. So big thanks to everybody that has subscribed, that has watched, that has liked, commented on my videos. It really means a lot to me and uh, I just want to say how appreciative I am. I also really want to thank my friends and family that have supported me throughout this as well as all the other woodworkers that have gotten started on YouTube around the same time. We built a really nice small community with ourselves and the ongoing encouragement from that team has been fantastic. The reason why I started this channel was really to just kind of test the waters and see what producing content on YouTube was all about. And after 43 videos, a thousand subscribers, over a hundred thousand views, it's really cool to reflect back on um, the progress that I've made in both kind of the content and production side of things, but also to know what the audience wants to see, um, know how the algorithm works. And we all kind of bow down to the YouTube algorithm. And I think one of the biggest things for me is that this has really re-energized me to get back in the shop after a couple of years, spending a little less time in the shop with uh, having a, a young toddler running around. But it, it's reconnected me with my tools. I've acquired a few new tools. I know my videos have skewed pretty heavily towards the tool space. And I think that that's been the most accessible to me. And couple of the struggles along the way and the first and foremost is project videos are very difficult to produce so i have a newfound respect for everybody that is producing project videos it's a lot more time consuming to set up to film to edit uh so much more than, than it is for me to, to set up a camera do a few takes reviewing a tool so uh, big props to everybody that's doing that and i really do want to do some soon uh on on some of the, the struggles as well it's it's interesting trying to learn what content works and what content doesn't. And I've had one video that I think is now over 50,000 views that, that really took off because of, it was a little more controversial. And, and I'll link to it above, um, but it was where I reviewed 10 tools that, that I regret purchasing. And um, it's been interesting to watch the reception in that, to read the comments, to see the ratio of likes versus uh, dislikes on it. But it, it's also kind of opened me eye up to what the general um, YouTube algorithm wants and how they promote that. And it's not really for me. I think for me, it, it's more about um, deeper videos into a single tool. I'm not going to put up um, titles for videos that are just gonna draw somebody into click and then not necessarily fulfill that. So I'm probably not gonna skew that way. But what is next for me, and I've got a couple notes here, is that my videos will continue to be sporadic. I am looking at doing a few project videos. I started down that path and just really realized how difficult it was to do project videos, but there will be some coming up, I promise. There'll be some more in-depth tool reviews. I haven't talked about my track saw yet, which is probably my most used tool, especially for me as I focus more on cabinetry. And I think this is a question for the community. So uh, a lot of the new woodworkers are talking about products that they, they build to sell uh, on Facebook marketplaces and on Etsy and things like that, and that's awesome. For me, my work is generally cabinetry and, and not like high-end kitchen cabinets, generally built-ins for closets, for laundry rooms, for workshops and that sort of thing. So I'd love to hear from the community if those are the types of projects that you are interested in, because it, it's kind of what, what I know best. And um, yeah, so I'm really excited for what's next. I had no expectations jumping into this, so to hit a thousand subscribers after a few months has absolutely blown me away. And thanks to everybody. If you haven't liked a video or subscribed or all that kind of stuff, feel free to do so now. I won't generally pressure people to do that. Um, but again, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing and thanks for supporting me uh, early on in my journey creating content for YouTube. So thank you very much and have a great weekend, everyone.